Hey folks, and welcome back to the, uh, Let's Play The Walking Dead. At least finally we're um, back into it. And we're up to episode 2. Uh, this is, I think, part 6 in terms of videos. So yeah, it might get a little bit confusing in terms of what's going on or episode titles and that sort of thing. But episode 2, start for help. I figured I might as well have a little break. No, I didn't really. I was very busy with exams and uh, trips away and stuff like that, and a whole heap of whole heap of mess of things, which I may previously cover. Yeah, uh, previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for Again, we are seeing some of the Xbox glitchiness, unfortunately. Yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. Again, it's very Doug. minor stuff, but you'll see Carl. kind of really bad okay, cuts. Carl, you'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. So yeah, that kind of I don't know if that was deliberate. One of is We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. But yes, we do get to see Ooh see the choices we made in this previously as well so if you haven't been watching my series so far you can see what the choices I made due to these uh, flashbacks so we even made friends with Larry which is no surprise in fact I really don't think you can make friends with Larry we did opt to save Doug over Carly uh, mostly because well, people always tend to go with Carly, so I figured we'll, we'll freshen things up a bit and go a different route. But yes, it's been a... some time later since we set up camp at the motel. Which also fits in with the gap I've had uh, between videos three months later. And we're out in zombie killing. Luckily it hasn't been three months since I've done the last video, only about one. Sorry about that if you were watching the series, I know I've only got about five missed. viewers, but uh, looks like a rabbit. If you're one of them. Uh, well, that's another meal lost. I still can't believe we went through all well, that commissary for Sorry for three months. not it seemed like so much at the time. Keeping up with it. Oh so, oh hopefully yeah, except maintain a more beef, regular but, trust me. Stream of footage, depending on what goes on the next couple of days. I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Also, Last night I heard your friend Doug laying sorry for talking over this. Types of pie. It was driving me nuts. Oh. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only Poor one. Doug. Won't you cut him some slack? Pie yeah. sound delicious. You're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food. Also, uh, Walking Dead. 400 games. Not enough. I'll be honest with According him. to Lily, you've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people. Oh, I didn't really mean to say. Oh, you mean that Lily's time. lottery right. again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of. So I wait for an opportune moment. You think until... Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, but we're out like hunting for food, it seems. Resources are incredibly low, which is understandable. You know, in this kind of post-apocalyptic world we're living in. He's got a wife and son to look out for. Kenny apparently and wants to run for it. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. And as we saw in the flashback here, yeah, he does definitely have a problem with us. He thinks I'm a danger to the group and Clementine. We'll be honest again. Honesty danger. does uh, help. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Yeah. Oh, knock me flat. He sure as hell did.
don't. Yeah, uh, I don't Except think it's really worth it. It's just a bird. It's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. I'm pretty sure the bullet would even disintegrate the bird and leave very little left. Oh. Shit, very little is that Kenny? Here. I don't know. Come on. Now we're hearing screams down in the woods. How exciting. So this guy's Mark. We have yet to be really introduced to him. Again, three months have passed, so I guess we can assume he's come across the motel and we somehow allowed him in. Potentially, I guess he's a plug of rifle he's got. Which I guess is more than enough reason to let someone join us. We always would. Whoa. You guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God well, we got two rifles. Maybe Mark supplied them. I don't know if it's ever specifically said. Yeah, some more bugging us. the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Hey, this is fucked up. We gotta go. Please. Yeah, this screen's certainly uh, a leading. I don't know if this really that, counts as anything for special care. forces. Please. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. Well, walkers are coming before the screen. Then. This trap's been altered. There's no release left. Yeah, you should have watched where you're walking, man. Alright, there's two ways to do this thing. We are going to do it pretty much the proper way. And I'll explain what happens. No, no, no. Try the trap again. We didn't try it at all, but... Too bad. One more should do it. We wanted uh, to eat. We got a leg. Surprised he didn't pass out earlier, to be fair. Well, there's dinner for the night. Start The Walking Dead Part 2, Episode 2, whatever. Like I said, it's going to get a messy and confusing. So there's two ways to do that scene. We can fail to cut him free, and he's the one that basically gets eaten by zombies. And uh, basically the scene that we'll play out a little bit later. Oh, I'm going hungry. Hungry. Hey. Uh... I assume they'll play it later, play that a little differently. However, it's really not worth seeing it. Uh, Travis basically makes it to here and not much further. But either way, it's all relatively the same. The, the, yeah, you, you'll see something play out differently, but other than that, it's very much the same. Uh, However, like I said, that's kind of the proper way to do it. You can't cut the chain, you can't cut the axe. And I think there's a stick you can pick up uh, and try to pry it open. Uh, that doesn't work either. Only way to free him is cutting his leg off. Oh, tension's building. Yeah, that was a bit weird. Shit. What the 
The game a bit buggy. Uh, come on, come on. Oh my God. What happened? Oh, what the hell? Don't have time to explain. Please, shit. Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee. What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking minute? Hey, no, mom. I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Well, died if we left him. So what? We are not <laughs> yeah. responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Come I don't know how you really people. define people our group. Survive, just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all Okay. <coughs> Does, um, We've got maybe specify a that. Left. Mark apparently had food. That's why we let him in. These guys have sweet fuck all. Um, no? Fine. You guys fight it out there. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. What? what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like Even Clementine knows what's going on that you don't really want to be any part of this. Decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone Who's was happy to have me leading? distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm going to the Kenny in this case. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Yeah, well, I mean, for the most part, we have been silent with Kidney for the most part. But at least in this case, he seems at least somewhat right. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have Yeah, Lily is a bit... Power crazy at the moment. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help daddy skill. You know what? And Doug doesn't you seem to be enjoying this very much job, either. Then you do it. So here's one of the more interesting decision choices. That's all the we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. We have to no, decide who Pick up that food and start handing it out. Is going to eat for the day. Not have enough food for and everyone. yeah. We don't have very much food there. It looks like an apple, maybe a few snack packs. Four items. A piece of beef jerky, two snack packs and half an apple. To feed Ten people, and everyone's noticed. Even Ben. Uh, oh goody. So one thing I've noticed is, well, one thing I've worth pointing out is, Katya will not take food. Uh, regardless of anything we do, she's the only person that you can't give food to. Uh, she's more than happy to stay hungry Does for at least okay? one night. I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Yeah, it is a bit different to well, you've done treating Thanks for the stray help. cats. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. So that's our interaction with Catch for now. She, uh... Well, Doug's here. Let's talk to Doug, actually. See how he's coping after we save his life. Huh. What's up, Lee? Well, let's see what, what he's working on. I've worked up a little warning system for outside. How does it work? I set up trip lines at four locations, and each one triggers one of these four bells. 
So. So we'll know where they are and how long we have. Smart. Hey, Duck has some use after all. Think Katja can save that guy? Maybe. I mean, I know about computers, but that doesn't mean I can fix a calculator. But you probably could fix a calculator. Well, yeah. Good point. <laughs> Well, since he set up a nice tripwire system, I think we should Don't reward him for a little food. piece of food. I'll give him a snack pack, since that's the more simple of the choices. Actually, why don't you keep my share today? Mm. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me and not Carly, but... I owe you a lot more than half a day's rations. Hey, I guess he doesn't if like Doughboy doesn't pack. want his food, hand it this way! It doesn't work like that. I'll decide who gets the food. And Larry's Besides making smart, ass of himself. You don't really want to piss me off, do you? Well, I think we can cross Larry off the list as well, after that little outburst there. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure if Doug, I can't really remember if Carly, I'm pretty sure you can give her food. How you doing, Clementine? Um, maybe you if I offered have? something different than Doug, you would eat. Can you help me uh, find it? If you know, do comment in the section below. Sure. When did you lose oh, she lost her hat. I had hmm. it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Well, okay, hopefully Clint. we find a hat. I gotta take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Don't know how it could have gone missing. It's a small place, after all. Uh, we'll talk to Lily as well, since she's up here. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? Arguing. Now, it's getting pretty out of hand. as we noticed, we're we'll notice trying Look, to hand food to Doug. To make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than uh, we got a little notification well, saying we'll just have to find some. Doug was offered food, but he didn't accept it. Uh, Lily, if you try to give her Maybe food, you, you will get no notifications, so God, it really has no effect too. on the game whatsoever. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. Yeah, but how long is it gonna, yeah, exactly. How long is it gonna keep work? How long is the drugstore gonna Fine. keep out? How long are other supplies gonna keep out? Uh, we'll talk to, I guess, Clem. I guess the obvious choices in terms of feeding, uh, Clam and duck. Work I think anymore, most it? people are more than no, happy to feed both children. I think most people are more than happy to feed Clam yeah, as well. If that's okay, I um I need it. It's okay, hon. You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then. Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend, but it makes Whoa. me feel better. Cut. You. Okay. You take good care of it then. So, for a little recap, uh, Clementine's real father, if you don't know, we're not her father, uh, gave her walkie talkies and used to talk to her through them. Uh, apparently it's broken and she's just using it to kind of have a little bit of something to cling to her. Um, let's say we're not sure. I hope you will. I'm so hungry. <clears throat> I hope I get to eat soon. Oh, now you're just pulling the heartstrings, kid. Pulling the weight. We better give her food. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. And we'll give her half an apple. I love apples. Aww. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um. Enjoy it. You deserve it. Yeah, you drew a really cool picture. Three pieces of food left. And uh, we'll talk to Duck. How you doing? Let's check out with him and see how he's doing. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. God damn it, Duck. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Yep, she can do anything. Hey, Doc, how about a little food? Whoa, calm down, kid. Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! 
Well, yeah, I think it is a safe bet that the kids are the best ones to feed in this scenario. And we'll talk to Ben as well since... Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. Oh, we weren't too sure about that. And, uh, yes we are. So who are you people? Let's find out a little bit of the backstory ben, about him. Ben Paul. The man oh, you well, saved two is Mr. First Parker, names. the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... When every Playoffs? Happened. You don't look like you play any sport, kid. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... Something. Whoa, whoa, calm down. I don't know either. And then you see some Excuse bugginess me. in the background there. Relax. Uh, we'll, we'll get your friend back to normal in no time. Uh, in the cold for now. So. We have two pieces of food left. Now, if you give one to Kenny, again, people will notice that you're BFF. And you're doing anything from for Kenny. Out mm -hmm. you want to leave the motor in. And at this moment, I'm um, still personally undecided. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Oh, how sweet. We will side with him in this case. Like a smart idea. I don't miss knowing this here at the coast is the I best thing. Is. I'm taking my family. But, as I have pointed out before, potentially staying here with dwindling resources is really not the best idea. The last two people to talk to, uh, let's see if we can talk to Doug some more. Hey Doug. Take it easy Doug. You too Lee. Yeah, now we're just taunting. And this bullying old Doug. Going, hey Doug, stand up for a while, you need to lose some weight. I'm sure you'll lose weight soon enough. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. Mm. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Well, since Mark's getting weak, maybe we should get him hey, some food. You holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kaja can save him. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Parasites? You're losing it, Lee. Uh, not Lee, uh, Larry. You ever miss the Air Force Base? Ah, uh, so nice, Lee apparently, from the Air Force. Is exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. I guess we can too. <coughs> so we learned a little bit of background. We'll give him some jerky. A little Thanks, bit of protein. Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I will give it to Larry. Uh, Here, this should help. He's got the strength. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is hey, that hey, Mark. God damn it. Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would that's appreciate right, it man. if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Well, Larry's the last one to talk to, and we only have one piece of food left. And we're walking away. That's a smart choice. We will, uh... Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. We will save it for now. And eventually we may give it to Larry. We'll, we'll keep things different. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. 
Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Whoa, calm down. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making no, she's friends. not making any friends at the moment. We're together. We got to start acting like it. Uh, Good old daddy's girl. We'd be fine without you. Hey, it's my ex. Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. I should shove this up your ass, but I'm too hungry. Ooh, maybe later. So we made the last of the decisions. We've given out all the food. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. Okay, so we give it to Kenny. Uh, the group kind of notices that we're buddy buddy. I don't know how you it's have It's not to do necessarily the worst effect from the game, but you know. Lee, Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Yes, yeah. uh, like I said, I think the crime choice is to come with us. You've more than feed the kids the first with and me. make the final Still, two decisions post that. I guess some that. people aren't going to be happy with your choices. I mean, we could have fed Ben, but Ken, Lee, come here, please. He's just joined us. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... What's his problem? Don't be like that, Lee. I know we've all seen death, but that doesn't make it any easier. Yeah. It's a fair point. That we have man, all seen but death. I tried. But By he now, see you too many times, in fact. He's not our problem anymore. But it's no walking what park. about the other kid? Whoa. Well, we've got a new friend here. Hey, buddy. Come on. Get out of the damn way. Oh, good work. Well, that did nothing. Good work, Doug. Well, at least you tried. Back away, back away, back away. So we couldn't finish our conversation with Katja. We were interrupted a little bit by... Oh, that's uh, nice. Whoa. Apparently we failed that, even though I... Well, we got our first failure. That was... Uh, I think that's our first failure we come across. But I did follow the prompts. Maybe I missed something. Smash, 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 smash. Oh, I can't seem to get out of the way. I'm apparently missing something here. Again, <coughs> in the all scenarios, could be a victim of Xbox bugginess. No, you don't, Doug. We've been over this. Thanks for trying, though. Because there is a scene later on which completely does... ...become a... ...game glitching bug. Oh, I see. Sorry, the prompt was not very clear. There was an arrow to the left of, uh, sorry, to the right of the screen that I just missed. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. Hey, hey, your heart. Well, it was a conversation killer. We didn't get to finish our lovely talk with Katya. You said he wasn't bitten. What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no. He wasn't. 
Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Hey, you're wrong, Kenny. You're you back know. in the mood. What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. So that makes things a lot more. God help us. It makes sense. Peachy. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. So uh, where did she get the pills, so, hey, Ben? The ben, ben huh, huh? Morning, and... God damn it, Ben. It's all your fault. Uh oh. Doug, it works. Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. Well, I think that's where we'll leave off for now. Thanks for watching, and see you next time for more Let's Play The Walking Dead. Bye for now.